As college students, we all get stressed out. We worry, we worry about finances, classes, relationships, whatever. We also worry about the way we look and the way we feel. What I'm going to talk to you about today can help relieve stress, make you feel better about yourself, and overall just improve your health. This is important to you as you're all college students and you might struggle with physical or mental issues as you enter your college life. Um, for you athletes, it's also important because you can pass this information on to others who, you know, don't exercise enough. Um, and to help you understand the benefits and the reason I hope you all increase the amount of time you exercise, um, you need to understand the problems that a lack of exercise can cause, the causes or reasons that college students do not exercise enough, and the solution to hopefully get you all out in the gym or out in the track or something. Um, and I'll talk about why that will benefit you greatly in the long run. Um, first, I will discuss the problem that a lack of exercise has on college students. As I mentioned before, two, um, two issues that college students face as they enter college is physical issues and mental issues. So mental health and physical health can often um, be affected by entering college. And they're both related as well. So problems a lack of activity can cause is stress. Stress is one of the major factors in student life. We're all stressed. Stress is a good thing. Um, but more and more students are starting to feel overwhelmed by stress. According to New York University 2015 article, it said that more and more students are feeling stressed out than ever before, and 6 out of 10 at New York University have felt so stressed that they could not complete work on at least one occasion. And stress comes from a variety of different angles or aspects from your life. It can come from classes, clubs you're in, sports, friends, family, and as I said before, finances as well. According to authors Edward Charlesworth and Ronald Nathan, who published a stress management book, said that stress causes many physical and emotional issues. It can cause tiredness um, and e even eating disorders, which leads to my second issue which faces students, is weight gain. We all know about the freshman 15. Um, weight gain as a whole in the US is an issue. A report said that 75% of adults considered are considered to be overweight, obese, or extremely obese. And this was according to a 2010 article from the National Institute of Diabetes. As for college students, a CBS News report from 2014 quoted Rena Wing, a psychologist and director of weight control at the center, of, at, center at Brown University, said over the four years, student gained about eight to 10 pounds in weight. And this is likely to continue after college life, if it's a habit. There are many issues overweight and the obese face. Uh, according to the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute, they said that the overweight are at serious risk of coronary heart disease, high blood pressure, strokes and type 2 diabetes. Uh, a Medscape online article also discussed how stress and obesity are partners in disease. If we're stressed, we comfort eat. If we comfort eat, we get stressed that we've been comfort eating. It's a bit of a cycle. So that's a bit of a bad habit we all have, but it's natural. So hopefully we can all, instead of eating something like a donut, if you're stressed, try fruit or something like that. Um, a study done at Oregon University found that among 600 students, mostly freshmen, not, uh, they failed to eat, most of them failed to eat at least one piece of fruit, one portion of fruit and veg a day. So that's pretty alarming because you're meant to obviously eat at least five. Um, so I suggest, as I mentioned just two minutes ago, that when you're comfy eating, try a healthy alternative. It does actually work and it makes you feel better about yourself. Now that I've discussed the problems of being inactive, I'll go on to the causes and reasons why college students refuse to exercise. Um, being an athlete, I've got friends who I know that are inactive and do not get enough exercise, and I've got family as well that just refuse to exercise. And the reason is they give it terrible excuses why it's impossible. So here they are. The most popular one is having no time. I'm sure we've all used that as an excuse. I'm probably guilty of it myself. This isn't true. Um, quarterback for the New York Jets, Ryan Fitzpatrick, he managed to get an economics degree while practicing 20 plus hours a week, and that's just for the team, so I presume he's doing more on his own as well. And he's now in the NFL, so I don't see time as being an issue. Um, I'm only asking you to do about 30 minutes a day, which is three and a half hours a week, which is hardly any time at all. If you think about how much television you guys watch, then three and a half hours out of a whole week is barely anything. Um, two tired. Exercise actually gives you energy. Uh, a 2015 New York Times article um, which fe featured Dr. Poets from the University of Georgia said that 
a little bit of exercise can prevent fatigue and actually gives you more energy than when you started. Exercise is boring, or the gym is boring. Nobody said you need to go to the gym. Find an activity or sport or whatever that you enjoy or try something new. It's always fun to go and try something with your friends, something new, something different. Uh, the third is, uh, oh no, the last one is you don't know what to do in the gym. You don't know how to exercise. Take a friend with you, someone that knows what they're doing, or even ask someone in the gym. I know people that love going to the gym and love looking at themselves in the mirror, love to share their information with novices, really. They love that kind of stuff. And also, the machines in the gym all have instructions, so you can read them. It's simple, and it tells you what to do. So now that I've discussed the excuses and explained why I don't find them valid, I'll give you a solution and some tips to making exercise a daily habit. So as I just mentioned, for those of you who don't participate in at least 30 minutes a day, here are some tips psychologist Dr. Bill Sakala suggested in a recent news.com article. So find a reliable and determined friend who will go with you and who will ask you to go work out or go and do some sort of activity. Find and create a workout or an activity you enjoy and try different, try different activities and keep it interesting. Go and do things you've never done before, like um, if you've never been dancing, go dancing, it'll be fun. Um, stick with a routine you can stick with. So, for example, on my off season, I start to go to the gym every time we have practice. So when you're not practicing, I've got that time space free, so I'll go and exercise at that point. Um, and last of all, um, have fun with it, switch it up, as I said, and make it competitive. If you've got friends that are going with you, try and compete against them. If you've got people you know that are fitter or healthier than you, compete against them. Um, so today, well, the benefits of exercise uh, will be noticeable. The Centre for Disease Control and Prevention said the benefits include improved mood, helps thinking and stress, uh, you can lose or maintain your weight, and personally I think you can eat what you want. I mean I exercise quite a lot and I eat quite a lot of food so that's kind of a bonus. So today I have explained the causes that a lack of exercise can cause, the problems and the reasons why students refuse to exercise and some of the solutions that you could uh, follow to make 30 minutes of your day exercise. So for you, for those of you who do not exercise or do not exercise enough, just give it a go, try and get into it. It's pretty simple and it's free. So, and for you athletes, I ask that you go out, if you already exercise enough, go out, educate others and uh, get motivated and get other people to go with you. Also, if you think about it, there's always going to be someone that's better, faster, stronger than you. So why not train harder than them? Thank you.